Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving my opinions about all the Briarfest models. Well, aside from the special runs, because I already did a video talking about my opinions and thoughts on the special runs, so this is going to be for everything else, like the uh, store specials, and tent models, and live auction models, and what have you. I'm also currently in Briarfest prep freakout crazy crazy insane mode right now because I have less than a week to get ready for Briarfest before we leave and I'm just, oh my goodness, I am so stressed out and this video is probably not going to be edited very much for that reason because I just don't have time to spend a lot of time editing this. So I'm sorry ahead of time if there's any mistakes, as I'm sure there will be in this video, but I'm just trying to get this out hopefully quickly and hopefully have time to get everything else ready for Briarfest that I need to do. So let's jump right into this. First off uh, is the Celebration Horse. I absolutely love him. He is Oliver and I actually have like videos of him. You can see in my Briarfest vlog video series thing from last year's Briarfest and I didn't know he was going to be the Celebration Horse back then, but super happy he is. He's a super adorable Super adorable horse in real life, and just really, really cool horse. I don't know. I'm very excited about this. This is, like, probably my favorite celebration horse they've done in a while. He's really, really cute. And I'm really glad that I'm going to be getting four of him, actually, this year, which is really cool. I'm just, I'm super excited about him. So, on here is the early bird raffle model. Um... And as I'm going to say with uh, any of these ones that are like really low numbers, like the early bird raffle model and the like live auction models, the uh, opinions on them honestly don't really matter because there's so few of them made. It's like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to really matter. But I mean, this guy is pretty. I, if I want him for some reason, I would not keep him, I don't think, because he's not pretty enough for me to want to keep when he could be sold for a lot of money. But he is pretty. And, uh, I don't know. He's, he's, he is what it is. He's not super flashy or fancy, but he's a nice, a nice, uh, Palomino, uh, kind of guy here. On to the single day stable mates. Uh, I like them this year. They're really cool. I am going to be getting the toe tapper one for sure because I really like him. He's just super cute, the little mini brush and mold. I don't know if I'm going to get the other ones or not, but I do like all of them. For sure. They're really cute and I like their little, the thing of them being the like colors off of other Briarfest models in the past. I know some people don't like that when Briar does like the little stable mates as a color that's already been done. But I don't, I don't see the problem with them being colors and patterns of previous Briarfest models and stuff. I think it's really cool actually. I think it's fun to have the little like mini versions of those other horses and stuff. So yes, I, I really like all these guys. I, I don't, I, I, I like them. And I don't think I've actually heard any fuss this year about people complaining about the colors being like redone or whatever. Probably because of her, the 30th anniversary of Briarfest and stuff too. But yes, anyway, I like those guys. They're, they're very cute. Uh, special runs we already talked about in the other video. So you can go check that out. And the store specials now. This is Zipped in Black Magic, who's a really cool looking horse in real life. Admittedly, I, I do not like this model, but it's just because I don't like this mold. I've tried to like this mold, the Zippo Pine Bar mold. I've actually had two different models on this mold before, and I ended up selling both of them because I just I couldn't fall in love with them for some reason. And it's kind of weird, too, because I actually do, like, Western pleasure riding in real life, but I just don't care for this mold for some reason. I am surprised they used this mold to begin with. Um, I don't know if the owners of the horse had, or the ones that mostly had the say in picking this mold or what, but Briar already did a Appaloosa, actually, a gray Appaloosa like this on a mold, on this mold before, which is actually one of the ones I had, so it's a little surprising to me that they, um used him with this color again but I will say the paint job on him is really nice if he was on a mold that I liked I would have gotten him for sure but it's just because of the mold I'm I'm not going to get him 
But again, the paint job looks really cool, though. I love this paint job. I love how they do did all the spots and his coloring and stuff just looks fantastic. The next store special is Rico. I'm not sure if I'm going to get him or not for sure either. The bad thing is the store specials are a little bit, a little expensive, you know, they're 70 and 75. So I don't know if I'm going to get him or not. Depends how much I like him in person. But he is cool on the silver mold and flea bitten gray and all that. So I do like him. I'll have to see him in person before I decide. And then the one that everyone is excited about is Hall. And he does look very nice. I know there's a picture of him in the... I can't pull it up because I'm pretty sure the Briarfest app does not like work on desktop now. But there's a picture on the Briarfest app of him like... That kind of shows his color and stuff better than this picture, but he is pretty, and I do plan on probably getting him. He's he's cool. The Dundee mold is really nice and all that jazz, so I'm looking forward to him. Then the pop-up shop, uh, pop-up store, pop-up shop. I honestly don't know. There's just, like, so many things you could call this thing, but it's the pop-up store, Hero Salute Shop things. Whoops, whoops, sorry. So this year's plush I am very, very, very excited about because last year's plush was, ugh, I don't know. I hate to, I, I really did not like that plush last year. I don't, I didn't like him at all. This guy though, this little Oliver plush is absolutely adorable. He looks super soft and cuddly and his little cape is so cute. So I'm really excited about him. Uh, I really, I'm going to have to get him for sure. I, I'm super, super excited to get him. And then there is the uh, Musical Ride Horse Classic. So he's nothing nothing too fancy, but he's, he's cute. And he looks like he does have some nice, like, shading. He's not, like, a solid black. In these pictures, it looks like, anyway, that he has a little bit of, like... Well, you can't really see him up any closer in that picture. But he's got, like, some brown shading, it looks like, underneath the black, I hope. So that's kind of nice. I don't know if I'm going to get him or not, though. I'm, I just don't really collect the classics too much. I do collect certain classic molds, but this is one of the classic molds that I, I like him okay. He's not he's not a bad mold, but I don't know if I'll actually get him or not. The stable mate for the pop-up shops is a little decorator, Alboroso here, who I will probably get. He looks, he looks pretty cool with that kind of color-changing paint over him. Um, yeah, I, I like him. He's he's cool. I am surprised they didn't do something a little bit more to the theme of the horse heroes because of, like, last year's stablemate was the, the the thoroughbred stablemate horse racing thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound tired and insane because I am right now. But this little guy, he's cute, you know? I, I like him. I, again, I, I'm surprised they didn't do kind of more of a hero's theme or more of the anniversary kind of thing to him, and he's just kind of a decorator that could have went with anything, really. But that's okay. He's cute. I'll probably probably get him. The crystal horse for this year is really cool. I like that Briar is bringing back these, like, porcelain molds and stuff that they don't really ever use. So it's, it's a really pretty crystal horse. I will not be getting it, though, because I just don't collect the crystal horses. I've had one of them before, though, and they are super pretty in person, so if you like the crystal horses, they're definitely worth checking out. They're very pretty. This is the last Briarfest reveal besides the live auction models, which is this Stablemate uh, Celebration Horses Stablemate <laughs> set. I am very excited about this. I think it's a good price for it. It's uh, $60, which I think is really not bad at all for getting these uh, 10 Stablemates. They're all done after the different celebration horses. I'm really, really looking forward to this set, and I know a lot of other people are too, so I think it's going to be one of the, probably one of the few Briarfest items I think this year that's going to sell out really quickly. So this, this one I might have to end up going kind of to try to get in the morning or something, depending on how, how popular it is. But I am very, very excited about this. I don't know if this is a, uh, there was a better picture, I thought, somewhere, but I'll try to zoom in a little bit here to give my opinions about the little individual models a little more. So the top left one here 
is based after Pecos, who was the 2011 celebration horse, who I have to get because of the fact that was my first year at Briarfest. The one in the middle is uh, last year's celebration horse, um, Brassat. His name was drawing me a blank for a second there. Then we, of course, have Oliver on the right. Below Oliver is the uh, Gutsen van Tikisil, however you pronounce his name, from the 24, uh, 2014 Briarfest celebration, 20th anniversary thing. So he, he's kind of one that I think is going to be, like, not disappointing necessarily, but not as exciting because he's just a plain black Frisian, it looks like, and we we have plain black Frisians on this mold already. So he's probably like the least exciting of this bunch, but still, I, I do like the little Frisian stable mates, so he'll be cute. And on the left, I actually already have the guy that looks pretty similar to this, but this is based after uh, Simba from 2015. Uh, I can't wait to get him, even if he's going to be pretty similar to the little Bayron drafter stable mate I already have. He'd still be really cute. And then the little dappled gray on the left is for the... Nah, I, I can't remember his name right now. But that weird skinny horse that a lot of people don't really care for, that celebration horse on the little like Paso Fino stablemate mold, looks pretty cute. On the right, we have Cheeto horse. That's right, we got Cheeto Dorito horse. On the right, based after Shining... Wait, what's his name? Shining something? I wasn't there that year, so I'm not sure. But the 2013 Celebration Horse, which I actually do have. So I'm going to be looking forward to get this little bright yellow and orange little guy. On the bottom left is... Oh, I'm actually really, very excited about this one. The uh, This Arabian Stablemate, because they don't really have a Marwari Stablemate right now. But it is based after Nazardin, the 2017 Celebration Horse. That might actually be one of my favorites of this stablemate set. He is so pretty, my goodness. I can't wait to get him. Then the little Morgan in the middle is actually based after the National Show Horse. I believe, is that a National Show Horse? I think so. From the 2010 Briarfest, um, All Glory, is that, what was your name? I, f I feel like I should know, and I feel like I'm blanking. Was it All Glory? I don't know. Whatever the case, that was based after that 2010 Celebration Horse. And then the one on the right is based after um, Mariah's uh, Boon, after the uh, the one on the Othello mold, and it's on the little... Uh, how I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of that stablemate mold. But that little guy, he's cute too. I don't know. I'm just really excited about this stablemate set. Um... Sometimes I'm really excited about stable mates and sometimes I'm not and this is an example of a time where I'm very excited about this little stable mate set. I don't know. So that's all the models that Briar has on the exclusive models page thing here. But I know there's there's more than that to look through. Um I'm I I think I'd, I I'm not going to go over of course like the regular run models and guest horses that are going to be there but um, I feel like I'm missing stuff besides the live auction horses am I is that kind of it I guess that was kind of it I thought I don't know I feel like there should, there was more models I'm again I could just be losing my mind or it's because I didn't go over the special runs pro oh no I'm forgetting the raffle models I knew I was forgetting something and the prize models those aren't on this page. <laughs> Normally they are. No wonder I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, so, um, we gotta find these models now. Oh no, I'm not gonna... I don't know if I want to look through all these pages of the Briarfest blog to find them. I don't... yeah, I'm... well, here's... here's the... 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 Bleh, 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 the live auction horses. Oh my goodness, I love this mare. She is so pretty. So these are the... Uh, open show prize models for champ overall champ and reserve and I really love them this is like a year I'm like oh man I kind of wish I was showing at Briarfest to have the small chance to try and get one of these models because they are just gorgeous oh my goodness so I, I absolutely love both of these to death they're just amazing <laughs> I don't know I really like the Yasmin mold I've, I've really fallen in love with that mold this color looks fantastic on her and then I know not a lot of people like the Indian Pony mold because she's older, but I really like her. 
And the fact that she is an, an actual Indian pony with the painted markings and stuff, and she's a few spot Appaloosa, I don't know, she's just amazing. I actually, actually like her even better than the Yasmin, and I just, I love them both, though. I don't know, I just, I love her, I love her very, very much. She is a model, I'm like, oh, I wish I had you, but you will probably never come into my possession, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> Here's another prize model, this is the... Best custom contest prize model, obviously. It is just a recoloring of uh, Bristol. But he is gorgeous. I love, love, love this this guy, too. He's fantastic. And he's not even, like, a solid black. You can, you can tell on this picture he's got shading and stuff. He's, like, on his cheek, on his neck. You can see he's got, like, a lighter kind of gray underneath that black. He is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous horse. So, yes, he, he is a lovely. Uh, and he's even got, he's got pinking again under his markings, like on the real Bristol and stuff. So, just a lovely model. He's, he's another one that's like, oh man, that would be a nice model to have, but I know I'll never get him. But, you know, it's, it's fine. That's, that's how it be. Down here is also the uh, stablemate, the runner-up prize guy. Honestly, not super in love because, um... I just, I don't know, I, I can't really like this mold for some reason because of his front leg. It just looks so wonky to me. But he's cute. He's based after a Stablemate Club Stablemate, actually. But anyway, yeah, I mean, he's cute. He's, he's nice, don't get me wrong. He's just not my favorite mold, so I'm not super duper fantastical excited about him. And not like I'd be getting him anyway or anything, but I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm losing my mind. I'm so sorry. Let's try and find those raffle models. Um, I could show them on the program, but the pictures on the program are tiny. So let's let's find the find the pictures from the the thing here. And I'm sorry, I'm really not going to be editing this video at all, probably. So I deeply apologize for all of this. Where's where are the? Did I? Is this too far back? I feel like this is too far back. Maybe. Oh no! Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Alrighty. So, which one's which again here? I, I, I already forgot. Which one's the Saturday one and which one's the Sunday one? Okay, this is Saturday, so we'll start with him. This is North Star. <laughs> For a second, I was like, wait a second, what's that name? So, this is on the Duende mold, which I actually still don't have a model in this mold yet. Um... But he's pretty. He is a pretty model. I'm not super thrilled about him though. Uh, I I don't know if it's just cause I don't know. I'm not I'm not super thrilled about him or think he's like super wowzers for some reason. Normally I'm pretty like wowed about the raffle models, but I'm not super wowed about him. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. But I do like him. I mean he's pretty. He's pretty dappled gray. He's got a very silvery mane and tail. And he's in high gloss, too. So he's pretty. I'm just not super duper excited about him for some reason. But he's pretty. And then the Sunday raffle models, which I am more excited about, I think, just because they are kind of really interesting loud colors, are the uh, these two, the Mare and Full set here. They're very, very cute. I, I do like them a lot. And I really like this Mare's... Appaloosa pattern, how it's got like the splattery kind of paint around the blanket pattern and those really nice dark spots and stuff. I don't know. She just, she's very pretty. I like her a lot. The foal is cute too, but for some reason I'm not as excited about him as I am her. I don't know. I just really like her. She's super, super cute, but they are both cute. I like the foal too. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm just, I'm just talking. I don't even know what I'm saying. So there's the raffle models. So, oh, oh, I forgot. Here's another prize model we got to look at. This is the Diorama Contest prize model for this year. He is a little uh, little halflinger mold. And I know people, when this first came out, people were complaining about him because he's on this mold that most people don't generally like that much. But this is, this is what they do for all the Diorama Contest prize models, pretty much. They put them on molds that are not quite as popular, they tend to like to do the pony molds or just molds that are just, I don't know, not as not as popular or as exciting. 
And I think the reason they do that is maybe so that people don't get crazy, crazy competitive in the diorama contest because it's already very, very big and very competitive to try and get the prize models and stuff. So that's my guess anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't know for sure, but that's my speculation on why, why they do that. But, um, oh my goodness, look at that picture quality. That is so horrible. I, I don't know why this year on the Briarfest blog, like, oh my gosh, look how bad that is. Most, the majority of, like, the photos of the models they put up are really, really low quality, and I really don't understand why, because they used to always have the nice, pretty big size, high quality pictures like this one, but then I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, I am not interested in entering the diorama contest this year, partly because of this guy. If the prize model was a mold or a model, mold model color that I really liked or whatever, I probably would have entered the diorama contest pr uh, this year. But because he is one, I'm like, oh, he's really cute. I do like his coloring and stuff, but I do not really collect the mold. So I, I, I didn't feel the need to try and spend a ton of time and energy trying to do the diorama contest this year. And I'm glad I didn't because I honestly just do not have the time. I did not have the time this year anyway to do it. And because I won it last year and got that gorgeous um, uh, Win Place or Show model, who I do actually really, really like, I feel like this was a year then to take a break from the diorama contest because last year I won, I won one. So, you know, like, I don't know. I don't like to feel too greedy about things like that. I'm like, oh, I want a thing. So this year I'm, I'm going to not, not do it because I already did it last year. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does or not. I'm, I'm sorry. This video is going to be super long. Oh my goodness. I'm very sorry. Anyway, let's move on to something else. But, um, so yeah, we'll stop talking about him. Um, is there anything else? I, I think that's pretty much it besides the live auction models. I want to double check though, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, we do have the, um, the glossy prize models, which I'm, I don't know if I'm going to pull up the stuff for that right now, but the prize models for the, uh, actually for the, for the youth show and also for the open show is a glossy California Chrome and a glossy Harley. Those are the prize uh, model things for the divisions and stuff. And stuff. And I'm I'm glad that I'm not showing because of those guys. Honestly, they're really pretty. Don't get me wrong. I think they're great, but they're not like my favorite kind of regular runs that Briar's done recently. So um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Let's see the live. Is this the first one? I'm I'm sorry. I'm going all over the place here. Oh, the silent auctions. I guess we could look at those real quickly, and then we'll look at the live auctions. And so there's the um, retired racehorse basket thing, which I don't plan on getting because I just I, I don't need more stuff like that. Honestly, I have so much stuff already. But uh, the, I like I do like looking at these little gift baskets and stuff though. They're so cute, and I can't wait to see what other stuff is going on with them and whatnot. And I know there's that resin carousel horse on here somewhere. Is it this one? Let's see. Oh, my internet all of a sudden just didn't want to load. This guy is really cool, or gal, gal guy, I don't know. Carousel horse. I do like carousel horses. I'm actually planning on doing some carousel horse stuff at some point. But this guy is guy, gal again, I don't know, is... Is really pretty. Don't plan on bidding it though, because it's gonna go way out of my price range for sure. But you know, it's, it's pretty. It's cool, and I love that they have the silent auction to do some models like that, like done by different people and things like that. All right, now let's actually get into these live auction models. Again, my opinions on them really don't matter because you know they're just they're, there's only one of them made and what have you, but it's still fun, right? It's still fun to just uh, talk about them anyway. So, whoops, why are you still on this page? Get out of here. All right, so first live auction models here is this the thoroughbred guy on the Emerson mold. He is very cute. I like him a lot, and he's got like little 
I don't know if we can really zoom in. Oh, there we go. We can really zoom in. Uh, we're zoomed in too much there. There we go. That's better. So this guy, he's cool. I like his mapping. He's very pretty. I, I, I gotta admit, and I can't wait to get my hands on an Emerson model. Um, I'm, I'm still sad that I passed up an Emerson model at Briar West, and I should have bought it, and I didn't. And then, of course, when I went back to get it, it was gone. But maybe this year I'll find um, an Emerson, or if not, I'll just at least get that Rocket Special Run guy. But anyway, yeah, he's he's cool. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> then there's also this um, Bobby Joe Roan model. This is actually a really interesting color. I don't see Ryer really do this color very often. So that's really neat to see it on her. The I don't know. just I don't have too many... Like, again, it's hard for me to give opinions on these guys because there's only one made. It's not like it's a special run model being released and stuff, so... This guy is interesting. He is the test, a test model, which for, I don't know if Briar's actually really done this before, done, actually they might have, I don't know. They've done test models in the live auction before like this for their different colors of other models they've made and such. But this guy is a test model for the Dark Horse Surprise last year, actually. And so instead of the Bay Ap uh, Leopard Appaloosa we got at the at Briarfest as a special run guy variation thing. Uh, I'm losing my mind. This guy is, well, what's what did they say he is? He is a glossy, no, that's not you. He is a <laughs> glossy, a glossy flaxen chestnut Leopard Appaloosa. And he is, he's pretty. I know some people said they like this guy better than the the version they had for the special run. But I actually, I think I still like the Briarfest version better, the Bay Appaloosa guy. This guy is still really pretty, don't get me wrong, but I, I think I like the Bay one that they chose to do better for some reason. But this guy is still super duper cool. Then there's a Marari. Ooh, and this guy is just, he's delicious looking. It's like, he looks like chocolate or something, I don't know. He is, I really love when Briar does these really gorgeous, like, nicely painted bays, like really rich bays like this. They just look so lovely. And he's got like little mapping on his and his face markings and his leg markings and he's just really cute. I, I do like this guy. And he's, he's nice. I, he's probably not one of my top favorite maybe live auction models, but he's, he's up there as one of my favorite live auction models this year maybe. Because he's just very, very nice looking. Okay, and so that's the first four we got there. Here's some more. Uh, this Yasmin, which we already saw and talked about. And here's a little set of the Clydesdale Stallion and Clydesdale Foal. The Clydesdale Stallion, it does surprise me a little because um, even though it looks like he's got like a really extreme Sabino marking thing going on around, on around his haunches, I'm also really sorry. I keep like pointing to stuff and moving to stuff with my cursor, and I forgot that you can't currently see my cursor right now. But you hopefully get the idea. That yeah, the um, the thing is they've done like two black Sabinos on this guy as like regular runs and stuff. Not regular runs, but as like was one a celebration model? I don't remember. There's there's been a couple, and I have one of them, so I'm a little little not surprised or I don't know. Just it's. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying they have done this color on this, like, similar-ish color on the Clydesdale Stallion before. But he's very cute, and I like how it's kind of a weird, looks like extreme marking on the side there. And this Clydesdale Foal, oh my goodness, he is adorable. I do like the Clydesdale Foal mold quite a lot. He's very, very cute. And this little, little guy is, he's, he's adorable, and he's very, very soft, like, kind of bay coloring going on. It's, it's very cute. He is a cutie. Next up is a five gainer. Who the color on this guy does look amazing. Not a huge fan of the five gainer. Uh, I like it. I like it just fine though. I think he's a cute and fun mold. But this coloring is really amazing and definitely gives him a whole new life. I think that's one of the things I really like about these live auction models is that they give some older molds too just like a whole new life and color with these incredibly done paint jobs and stuff. 
and these like really loud patterns and stuff just really make these guys stand out and make you maybe appreciate the vintage molds a little more and stuff. But yeah, he's he's very cool. I like him. Not actually super super in love with this one for some reason. This is the ruffian. What are you? A sooty dapple palomino with pearly mane and tail <laughs> ruffian. So she is really pretty. Um, I'm just not. I don't know. I don't super duper love her for some reason. I don't. I don't know why. But she's she is pretty and she's got like a lot of dapples going on, which is cool. But I'm. I don't know. I'm not not crazy in love with this one. Again, doesn't matter because I'm not bidding on any live auction models anyway. But just just talking about them here. Uh, and there's North Star. We already talked about him. This Marin full set is really, really cute. This uh, Giselle is really cool. I like I like her coloring and markings a lot. She just oh, and the fact they're chalky too is pretty cool, which means Briar actually did like a base coat of white before they started painting on top of them, and I feel like that works extremely well with the Giselle. Like it just uh, oh, her markings and everything looks so pretty because of that. The uh, little full guy, is it Gillen? I forget if that's how you pronounce his name correctly, but the Gillen full is also really cool. His markings are very interesting, very fun, and is just, he's pretty too. They're both very pretty models. Oh, and then here is the one. I love this mare. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of people are like, what is, what, what is Briar doing with this one? Because she's her markings and her, like, her coloring and stuff is probably not realistic. I also think it's very weird that... Okay, she looks like a Brendel. Like, these markings are very Brendel-esque. But they say she's a splash pinto with zebra stripes. But I, that that's really weird to me because this does not scream zebra stripes at all to me. This screams more Brendel. But whatever the case, and like I said, she's probably very unrealistic. I I highly doubt there's like an actual horse color out there that really looks like this. And that could be genetically possible. I, I don't know like the whole... I'm not very good with like horse genetic genetics with like colors and stuff. But I know like certain genes like affect each other. So I don't know if this splash paint would be even possible to become mixed with the zebra markings or brindle or whatever's going on here but regardless i love 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 this mare oh my gosh i wish i i wish i was rich just so i could buy her she is so so cute and i think part of i think that her fact the fact her coloring isn't realistic really in, in my opinion anyway is the reason why i like her so much too is she doesn't feel very realistic to me she feels like a very fantasy-esque model. And I realize that fantasy models are kind of a bit of my thing. I do like a lot of different kind of fantasy things. Like the, like the, what's his name? The the one I got last year for the Briar Wild Animal thing. The, the Okapi looking horse. Like I really like him. I really like the wild cat horses. And she seems like she's in the same ballpark as those kind of wild animal colored horses so I don't know I, I really really like her <laughs> I'm uh if I had the money she would she would have to come home with me but I do not have the money to spend that much on a on a single model but yes I, I absolutely adore her she is so gorgeous and she does remind me uh I'm sorry I keep talking you're probably annoyed by me now and I'm, I'm very sorry this video is already getting up towards that 40 minute mark woohoo but this girl is similar-ish to uh, a different design. When I've been designing my new horse persona that you see like on the banner of my YouTube channel and stuff. One of my ideas, which I'm not going to pull up right now because I don't want to look for it. But it was basically doing a splash paint with uh, like a gorilla with, ze with black zebra stripes. And so this kind of does remind me of that because this is a splash paint with the stripes. So that That's basically what I was going to say. I, I don't know. Next up is Foalzilla. Or the, they call their, they call her the springtime filly. 
So this is that big one six scale full. Honestly, um, I I've tried to really like this mold, but I I have a trouble actually like enjoying her in person for some reason. But she is very cute. I, again, the splash paint. I do like splash paints a lot. They're doing a lot of splash paints for the live auction this year. I feel like. So she's very adorable, and it's very cool, I think, that Briar did a live auction model on her, because I don't think she's had a live auction model yet. I could be wrong on that, though. But it's cool that they're kind of doing a bit more variety, I feel like, this year with the live auction models. They've been doing a lot of foals, too, which we'll see some more foals in a moment here. Next here is a decorator, Gofford, who's based after the... What was he? He's a raffle model, Lab Labyrinth. The, like this same guy, but he was a black leopard Appaloosa. I really love that, that raffle model, so it's cool that they are doing this guy in a fancy, colorful blue. So, yeah, he, he's fun. He's a fun, fun, colorful Appaloosa. I don't know what else to really say on him. Here is a pretty, what's your name again? Semi-rearing Mustang. Uh... I like his coloring a lot. His markings are nice. He's very, not too flashy, but a little, little flashy and glossy. So he's nice. I'm not crazy in love with him, but I know there's a lot of, a lot of collectors out there that really love this mold. And I, I imagine he'll go pretty high because people do love some of these classic older Briar molds. Oh, and there's that beautiful, beautiful live auction. Or not live auction. What am I talking about? Well, it's in the live auction too, but the beautiful... Open show prize model. I, I absolutely love her. And then also here is a... Oh my goodness. Why can't I think of your name? How to pronounce your name? Uh, Leg Legionero? Legion... I don't know. We're just not going to try today. I'm way too tired and going insane for that. But this guy. He's gorgeous. I like him a lot too. I really like his little leg stripes. They look really, really cool because they kind of like taper off. I mean, like they... We'll zoom in a bit so I can show you what I mean. Like they kind of taper off a little bit. They don't, or they aren't just like straight, even lines. They taper off at the ends, so they look really cool. Really cool done markings. He is really, he's really pretty. I like him a lot, and I like this mold. And the color is very nice. He's, he's a lovely, lovely model. And then I think this is the last ones that we have right now. There are gonna be at least four more live auction models I know revealed. But I'm doing this video now because I don't have time to keep putting off this video. I've already been putting it off to wait for these more live auction models. So anyway, this guy is the, uh, he's a, uh, a totalis, totilis, whatever. He is a pearly golden cremello tortillas, tortillas, whatever. Um, he's not like super crazy exciting, and I think that's because we have a very shiny Palomino and uh, Buckskin technically too, but a very shine, shiny Palomino holiday Christmas horse that was in 2017, am I right? I think that's right, 2017. So he's he's kind of similar, he's not the same color, but he's just similar in the sense that he's shiny and all that like that guy, so he's not super duper exciting as much because of that reason I feel like. But this is still really pretty. He's in that same kind of um, Cremello kind of thing that they've done some a couple other models in before. He's very pretty. I don't know. This set here is adorable, and I'm really glad to see that they're do doing some different foals and stuff. They don't do. I don't feel like they don't do very full foals very very often in the live auction, but it's kind of nice to see that they have quite a few foals with uh, mares and stuff in the live auction this year. Really cute, misty, uh, what's this, Sea Star? Is that the right for one of those? I think that's one of them's name is Sea Star. Oh my goodness, and I'm blinking. Is the other one misty too? Is that misty? I, I forget, get the full, those full molds mixed up sometimes, and I'm very sorry if you just heard a weird noise because I hit my microphone. But these guys, they're very, very, very cute. And the mare is actually like a Pentaloosa, and um, then the little gray one is a Appaloosa, and then the little peachy, peachy, the little Palomino-like one is a Pinto, and they're, they're very, very cute. I like this. This set is very adorable. I, it's a very, I don't know, it's adorable. I love it. 
And here is a lonesome glory. Oh my goodness, this boy has got crazy, crazy markings going on. And lots and lots of dapples. His face is actually really cool because that like face marking is like goes up kind of over his eye and stuff. He's very, very cool looking. I, I can probably see him probably going for a lot because he's it's a pretty cool pattern and pretty popular mold. And then lastly, we have a rainbow Creodamsha. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you say her name. Or the Connemara mold. And she is very cool. She actually has gold, it says, for her mapping, which I'm, I'm not as big of a fan of. I don't know if I like the gold mapping stuff as much. But it's certainly interesting and she's fun, colorful rainbow. Kind of like Prism, except she's on this mold and what have you. She's very pretty and fun. I like it when they do some really cool, crazy decorators in the live auction. They're always kind of an interesting thing to see. So I that's going to be it for our models unless there was a... Oh wait, no, there was. Hold on. So we do know what two other of the live auction models are going to be here that they haven't revealed yet, which is... Um, come on, zoom in thing. This Bay Pam, which I'm sure will go for a lot because, again, this is an older mold that I know some people really, really like. So she's nothing too flashy, it looks like. She just looks like she has some high whites and just a really nicely colored, glossy bay. But she is she is cute. Oh, I forgot. Actually, I have three models here. My goodness, what am I doing with myself? Over here is a show jumping warm blood who I really like. I like that his tail is the Connemara mare tail. I think that looks really cool on his mold. So that's really fun. He's not too crazy of a color, but he's he still obviously is going to be nicely painted and stuff. And that tail I think really gives some interesting new life to him. And then up here is the Bristol who I know a lot of people are in love with and I don't blame them because he is very very pretty. I, I like him a lot too. He is a very neat star dapple rose gray Bristol model and he is the braided, it looks like the braided mane and probably tail version of this mold also which is neat. So yeah he's he's very cool too. Lots of nice live auction models I feel like. Although my favorite is still that um, forever siege one. <laughs> But anyway, I that that's it now then, and I'm sorry if this video comes out and then immediately there's more live auction models and whatnot. But we're just gonna have to have to um, live with the fact that I'm not gonna be giving my opinions on whatever last couple live auction models there are. And then that that's it for this video. I will be doing, hopefully, oh my goodness, I'm just losing my mind because there's so much to do for Briarfest and stuff. But I will be trying to do a quick, quick video of like an updated version of my surprise horse guesses based on the molds that the live auction models are already this year. So keep an eye out for that video. That'll be coming out probably pretty soon after this one. And I hope to see you guys at Briarfest soon. Oh my goodness. Keep an eye out on my Instagram. I will be posting like pictures of some of the stuff I'm selling. And uh, other stuff for Briarfest. I also will try to do a quick video of the stuff I'm bringing to sell at Briarfest. But again, I'm like, I'm, I can't guarantee at the moment because I'm just going crazy getting ready for Briarfest. Anyway, I'll stop talking. I'm very sorry this video is very long. Not edited at all, probably, but anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a super duper awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!